హలో గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ ఎపిసోడ్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ స్టడీడ్ అబౌట్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఓవీ ప్యారిటీ వీవీ ప్యారిటీ బట్ దెర్ ఈస్ సంథింగ్ ఎల్స్ ఆల్సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు లర్న్ దట్ ఈస్ పార్తనోజెనెసిస్ అండ్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ ఎపిసోడ్ వీ విల్ స్టడీ వాట్ ఈస్ పార్తనోజెనెసిస్ అండ్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ మైటోమార్ఫోసిస్ Parthenogenesis is the growth and development of embryo or a seed without fertilization of the egg by the sperm. Parthenogenesis occurs naturally in some species of vertebrates, example water fleas, aphids, honey bees, and parasitic wasps in honey bees the unfertilized egg develops into male and fertilized eggs develop into female how can the same female produce both fertilized and unfertilized eggs a female honey bee has a chamber or a sac like structure called spermatheca associated with female reproductive system the sperms deposited by the male during copulation are stored in spermatheca as the ovum passes by the female genital tract the sperms are released from the spermatheca which can be closed or opened by the sphincter if the ovum comes in contact with sperm the ovum will be fertilized and will develop into female having diploid number of chromosomes if the ovum does not come in contact with the sperm it will develop into unfertilized egg that will give rise to a male having haploid number of chromosomes but please don't get confused with the unfertilized egg that is produced by hen the unfertilized egg that is produced by the hen is not viable egg wants to adult eggs are hatched out after a particular period of time in oviparous animals in some animals the egg wants are the larvae that hatch out of the egg may look very different from the adult these hatched out larvae continue to grow molt that is shed their skin and later metamorphosize into an adult tadpole larva of a frog and caterpillar of moth or butterfly are common examples of such animals let us study the life cycle of frog there are three different stages in the life cycle of a frog egg of a frog which is formed in the water as they are oviparous animals will give rise to a tadpole larva on hatching the tadpole larva in turn will metamorphosize to become an adult frog the features of the larva stage or tadpole are more similar to fish and are very much different from the adult the tadpole larva has external gills which are not seen in fish similarly the larva of silkworm or butterfly looks very different from the adult moth therefore the larval stages of these animals undergo drastic changes in order to become an adult transformation of the larva into an adult through drastic morphological changes is called as metamorphosis or is also referred to as progressive metamorphosis as the larvae are representing their ancestors the tadpole resembles the fish whereas the caterpillar larva resembles to certain extent the annelids in today's episode we have learnt about the changes that take place during metamorphosis 
Thank you.